hello again everybody and welcome to back to basics gaming let's play edition of super castlevania 4 now i love this game uh i think it might i don't know if i said which one's my favorite but if i didn't say this one then yeah probably gonna be this one so we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna give it a the old let's play treatment and see how we fare up now I have played this game not too long ago so I'm a bit more familiar with it than I was with bloodline so <laughs> I may be able to show you some well display a bit of I don't know talent in this game or something <laughs> at least it shouldn't be as bad it is what I'm trying to say I guess now, as far as the story goes, I'm not really going to be all into that. I'm more into the action and everything. Uh, so, let's go into the options. Alright, we have all this already set up. So, we're good to go there. So, here we go. Let's play Super Castlevania 4. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. Now we can enter our name, I guess. Just put. Ooh, just just barely fits. Now we will be playing as Simon Belmont, which I believe is the protagonist from the first two Castlevania games. So we're gonna go on ahead and check this out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool backdrop. You got the moon being kind of eclipsed there in a skull mountain. Skull mountain. Reminds me of uh, Mighty Max. Now, see, in this one, oh, you can jump on the stairs in this one, too. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe I've been lying all along. I don't know. Yeah, you sure can. Yeah, you can walk backwards, too. <laughs> um, I guess a quick breakdown. Bake. Ugh, blah, excuse me. Breakdown of the moves is Simon is a badass you can attack diagonally just like John could but not just like that but while standing as well just like Eric could you can even attack upwards downwards while when you're jumping downwards diagonal you can even hold the whip in place and kind of move it around like a jerk and sometimes this as silly as it looks comes in very handy so Simon has a good arsenal. Um, you can use the R button to throw your knives. And all right, well, let's get into it, and we'll just kind of discover as we go. There's a lot more platforming in this game as well, so that's interesting to note. And I'm sure it's definitely going to be working against us. This game has ex excellente music. See, that downward diagonal already proving itself to just be awesome we can actually go in the background here because we're gonna have to actually I don't know if there's anything back here I guess it wouldn't hurt to go and check now would it no I guess not nothing oh well but anyways we will be doing two levels a piece per uh, let's play episode I don't want them to run too long but I don't want them to run too short either so I think two levels is kind of uh, the deal breaker here now of course if the levels are shorter than I remember because it has been actually I played this game a few months ago so yeah if <laughs> they're shorter than I remember from a few months ago then we'll go on ahead and we'll obviously I'll throw in another level all right in we go. I don't know if this is... I don't think this is Dracula's castle because we actually traverse um, all sorts of areas in this game. Much like in Bloodlines, you're not just restricted into the castle like, say, how uh, Symphony of the Night is. Which is cool because I I myself like going to different locations. I mean, don't get me wrong, exploring the castle is cool. But I thought it was pretty wicked to be visiting like the Tower of Pisa and... You know, stuff like that. Now, I don't know if I'm really an axe man in this game or not. So far, so good. <laughs> I'll definitely say that. 
But I don't know if I am or not in this one, because I do remember the knife being very handy as well. So I guess we'll have to just kind of wait it out and see. And it really is up to, like, your situation and, of course, your style of gameplay. You know, I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to skip them. You know, what may work for me, you know, may work totally different for you. Uh, okay, so these things right here are, like, grappling points. So just like John, you can do that. But unlike John, where he can pretty much do it anywhere on the ceiling... Simon has to have these grappling points uh, in view in order to do it. So, the game's actually being kind of nice showing you this early on because you're going to be using this quite a bit um, later on in the game. And I'm sure it's going to be the cause of many deaths as well. Okay, Ooh, he tried to get a cheap shot off on me there. Oh, we have invulnerability again. The jug equal invulnerability. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. I don't know what that was about. I, I thought it... Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, apparently it wasn't. I lied to you. I'm sorry. And I took the hit for that. See, it's very awesome that I can just... Oh, man, just whip diagonally. Standing or jumping. Oh, it's so great just to have that freedom... I don't, I don't want that. I don't know if... Yeah, they disappear in this game as well. Alright. I see these dudes up here. They drop down. We'll grab our... Now, I don't think the sub-weapons differentiate in uh, the candles. Like, you know, in Bloodlines, if you've ever watched my Bloodlines uh, Let's Play, the candles, like a single candle... Whoa, man. He, like, blended in with the ground. There's another one. But the single candles will actually have all the sub-weapons in them. As opposed to in here, I think it's just whatever. We'll, we'll see. I didn't notice. Ah, come on. I should have just threw my axe. Oh, cool. Oh, man, no. I wanted uh, <laughs> I was hoping for some wall meat. Oh, man, he's back. Yeah, they. I guess they respawn here. That sucks. Well, that's not good. I'm already kind of beaten up here. Yeah, they, they respawn in this game. That sucks. <laughs> this thing looks like it's going to flip or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I totally didn't trust that. But man, it looks like I'm going to die on the first level already. Jeez. Ugh. Oh no, already out with the Medusa heads. These ones are like an ugly, pasty, white color. It's always with the timing with those things. And I lost my axe. Oh, there's some food. Okay, so food is actually in the candles as well. So hitting <laughs> all the candles is going to be a necessity here, is what that tells me. I'll take the knife. It's a ghost. <laughs> Very slow animation. Jeez, take your time, ghost. Not sure what that was. Don't trust that. Yep, see? Oh, no! Oh, my goodness! So, <laughs> okay. All right. Um, that was a little aggravating. But... Alright, well, yeah, as you've seen, that thing <laughs> knocked me down in the direction I was going to go anyways. But, yeah, that's the unforgivingness of Castlevania stairs. Huh? At least I have full health again. Whoop-dee-doo, right? <laughs> but, um, as I was saying, I got knocked back... By this green dude right here in which you know what I seen him when I was walking up here but then I got distracted by this candle and then that distracted me and I forgot about him so when I was walking past he hit me knocked me back boom right into nothingness even though <laughs> technically I should have just landed right here where I'm teabagging but yeah 
No forgiveness. And there'll be plenty of pit debts and stuff like that. I I already see it. See, and I would have replenished all my health right there. Oh, we were right at the boss, too. <laughs> Talk about an epic fail. I'm trying to use my sub weapon, but I guess I don't have enough hearts. Alright, now it's just him. <clears throat> okay, he don't seem so bad. I don't know what that was about, but he's dead now. So there you go. <laughs> well, we could have... Hope to avoided that, but <laughs> it didn't work out that way. They sneaked a, a kill in on me. That sucks, but that's all right because we're gonna we're gonna do it. I think we get unlimited continues in this game. I think it's a <laughs> hell of a lot more forgiving than Bloodlines is, so to speak. Even though you still get a password anyways. I think the only reason why there's a password in this game is because in case you need to walk away from it or something like that, you know. This game, I believe, is much longer than Bloodlines. Alright, watch the hands. <laughs> oh, we got, like, Predator over here. But yeah, that, <laughs> that really sucked. I was only one screen away from getting, uh, yeah. Getting where I need to get going. This music is awesome, too. I don't know if I have it up loud enough for you guys, but you, you should just go find some Castlevania mp3s or just uh, go online and just type in a Google search engine or something uh, Castlevania mp3s and a very wicked site will come up I, I feel like a jerk for not remembering the name of the site but yeah if you're if you're digging the tunes or you've always liked Castlevania tunes then that's the place to go it's got every single song from Castlevania at least that I was looking for I'm pretty sure it does though Okay, I thought, I thought that little guy was gonna roll down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna axe him. Come on, there we go. So he won't be trouble late. Oh, look it, there was one down here too, I believe, but he disappeared. So hey, at least they respawn and disappear. <laughs> but yes, there's much more platforming in here. Uh, Bloodlines had its fair share of it, but this this game's gonna go overboard with it. <laughs> so be ready for that. Cause I know I sure as hell am. See, I'll, I'll turn it up a little more so you can hear it. Great music. Alright. Okay, like jumps like this, I don't like that. Uh, they just put that little that little that little cliff right there to accommodate that jump some zombies ah oh, there's no way I was gonna avoid that dude I guess I gotta kind of inch through now because I'm afraid okay cool end of screen okay I don't know if <laughs> I'm pretty sure going in that water down there is that's pretty much the end of your life and you see we got these tight little jumps here we got birds <laughs> so yeah gotta be extra careful <sighs> man that could have been avoided I was hoping to get that bat all cool Oh, another interesting thing that uh, Simon can do. Oh, man, frogs. Well, that frog was, like, standing on that water, so maybe it's, like, muck, quicksand type of deal. Maybe that's what it is. I can't remember, obviously. Oh, man, I have the stopwatch now, and I don't know why. But, yeah, maybe it's not instant death. This frog is really scaring the crap out of me right now. All right, I'm going to try to get him. <laughs> you like that? You just lower your whip down. But uh, another thing that I was going to say about Simon is that he can actually crouch and move. Pretty, uh, actually pretty useful in certain areas, which we will be displaying as well, believe me. 
makes me believe there's something in here. If this guy's just, is it just this? Cross. Oh, and, and, the infamous wall meat. bridge. Uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and keep my cross. I think, uh, I think either that or the axe is really the way to go in this game. More so the cross. I believe it's pretty useful against Dracula as well, but, well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> this game sure is being generous with giving me the food right now. I'll say that. That's pretty wicked. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. I don't feel that the graphics are as crisp as in Bloodlines, the sound effects aren't as great, but the gameplay is totally solid in this game, so therefore it's it's going to go on ahead. Man, we're just duking it out here, me and Medusa. Oh, that was quick. That wasn't even the first boss, or I mean the second boss. We still got a little ways to go, I guess. But yeah, obviously, uh, Bloodlines came out later than this, so, you know, give it a free pass. And really, uh, the one thing that I really do like to say about video games is that graphics do not make a game good. You know, uh, the moment that a person really realizes that and gets that, you know, mentality in their mind is then what I would consider a true gamer. Because, yeah, graphics are nice. It's a nice plus. Definitely. But it's not exactly the deal breaker when it comes to a video game. The gameplay is. Uh, especially, well, especially in Castlevania, the gameplay kind of has to be. Oh, man, whoa. The water goes in different directions and hinders you, so be mindful of that. This music is awesome. I really hate those guys. I'm sure you recognize them from Castlevania or even my Bloodlines uh, Let's Play. Um, of course in here you can only play as one character. Uh, most Castlevania games, that's kind of the way it is, at least the earlier ones. I know like in, I think in Portrait of Ruin for the DS, you can actually switch uh, characters like right from the get-go. You can be either character at any point in the game. Kind of like in uh, Beavis and Butthead if you've ever seen that review. I'm not trying to do shameless plugs here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of like that though where you can just switch from one character to the other on the fly in uh, Portrait of, Ru of Ruin. And uh, Symphony of Night, you can also be different characters if you put in the correct uh, names. Like uh, how I put my name in right there. I'm pretty sure you can only be Simon in this game. But... Uh, <laughs> I didn't necessarily do my homework, so maybe I can look into that. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's it. I guess Medusa was the second level boss, but <laughs> the level didn't end with her there. So we'll just uh, cut this one right here, and we will be back again shortly. Uh, back to Basics Gaming. Let's play Super Castlevania 4. So I'm going to go on ahead and pause it right here. We'll see you next time. Yeah.